As India and UK are all set to announce a joint venture for developing a 110 kN class engine, between the British firm Rolls-Royce and India's gas turbine research establishment, the country head of American engine manufacturer Pratt & Whitney India has said, that Pratt & Whitney engine technology are the best choice to power India's AMCA fighter jet medium weight fighter and twin engine deck based fighter jet. As the world's most advanced stealth fighter jets like F-35 and the F-22 Raptor are also powered by Pratt & Whitney engines. She also said, that Pratt & Whitney's F-117 engines currently powered the 11 C-17 Globemasters of the Indian Air Force, while the upcoming 62 C-295 light transporters will be powered by PW-100 engines, and the Sikorsky S-76D for the 111 Naval Utility Helicopter program will be powered by PW-210 engines. The Defence Ministry has cleared the repeat order of 73,716 rifles from US-based manufacturer Sig Sayer, and the total cost for the rifles is about 800 crore rupees. There will be no trials and time-consuming cost negotiations, as this is a repeat order, and this makes the total import of Sig 716 rifles to around 1.45 lakh. The Defence Acquisition Council is expected to clear the procurement of 10 Predator B drones during the upcoming meeting on 11 August, along with the purchases of super-rapid gun mounts for medium-range anti-ship and anti-aircraft systems with 76mm shells. The long-delayed acquisition of 93,895 CAR 816 carbines from Caracal, the refit of a Russian-made Kilo-class submarine, the procurement of 104 K-30 systems worth $2.5 billion, and the decision on the strategic partner for building the 111 naval utility helicopters under a 20,000 crore rupees deal is also expected. The DRDO has issued a request for proposal for suspension strut components for one-ton class of unmanned aerial vehicles, and expects the response from interested manufacturers by the 11th of August. The strut consists of a coil spring that supports the weight of the unmanned aerial vehicle, and it also provides structural support for the assembly. Bharat Electronics Limited expects an order inflow of 15,000 crore rupees for the current financial year as a host of new large orders is expected to open for bidding by the end of this year, which includes upgrade of EW systems worth 1,000 crore rupees, avionics package of Tejas light combat aircraft worth 1,500 crore rupees, 4,000 crore rupees order for the Akash air defense systems from the Indian Army, as well as the upgrade of avionics and EW suite of Mi-17 helicopters. The company is likely to bag orders for being the lead integrator for the long-range cruise systems on nomination basis, and the orders for Astra air-to-air -air systems on a competitive basis. India has decided to participate in Caucasus 2020 military exercise planned by Russia in August 2020, and an Indian Army contingent and a smaller naval contingent are expected to take part in this military exercise and Russia has unveiled that the main goal of this edition of exercise is the development of techniques and systems to counter cruise systems and the operation of low-speed and small-sized unmanned aerial vehicles. India will also take part in the RIMPAC 2020 by the end of this month, that the US Navy will host with some scaled-down modifications. The Malabar 2020 exercise with the Quad group of countries will also take place in November 2020 in the Bay of Bengal. Oh,